everyone. Come on, he lost 30 pounds without crystal meth. Give him a hand. Thank you, Seattle, for giving up one of your nice days to sit in this dark, hot, bad audio place. I appreciate that. You guys gotta really budget your nice days. It's like, fuck it, no, I can't. I just, we have to go to the zoo. We have to take the kids. I don't care if they're 30. We have to take them. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. That's just a small sampling. So, uh, <laughs> thank you very much for coming in. I think you keep saying that, but thanks a lot for drinking with me, because I mostly am a drinker. And I'll tell you, you ever drink so much you can feel parts of your brain turn off with each sip? Have you ever had that? Like, Ooh, there goes reasoning. <laughs> Goodbye, memory. Mm. So long, bowel control. <laughs> Still able to drive. All right, so. <laughs> Some drinks I don't care for, like tequila. You know, that usually gives me a black eye. And, um... <clears throat> and Jägermeister, do you guys drink that? Yeah, I drink that a lot. And it makes my ass pucker like it's waiting for a kiss. Anybody? Okay. Right now it's a draw. So, there's some troubles in the world, everyone. Horrible things are going on. Problems in the priesthood, you've heard about it, right? These poor children are being molested at church. Yes! That's right. <laughs> and you want to know the saddest part? They don't want to go to church to begin with. <laughs> it's kind of scary and boring in there, you know? It's not like when you're molested at camp. Now that's excitement, you know? You're outdoors. And you get something out of it. You know, you're like, all right, I was molested, but now I know how to canoe. So. <laughs> Summer is coming, and I'm kind of heavy myself, and that's, I don't jog or anything like that, you know? Not because I'm against jogging, it just seems that the joggers are always the ones that find the dead bodies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you never find a dead body when you're eating a bag of candy or anything like that, you know? <laughs> I'm in horrible shape. I think you know you're in really bad shape when you come to a flight of stairs and you say to yourself, we can do this. I think you know that's bad. <laughs> All right. So I don't like when they advertise on TV for gyms, you know, because they make you feel like you have to join. You know, it's like, summer is coming. Have you joined yet? Summer's almost here. Have you joined? Is something going to happen to fat people this summer? Are we going to be hunted and wrestled to the ground and pit fucked or something? I mean, really, what's going to happen? years old, you know, by this age I thought I'd at least have things in my life, you know, if not like a wife and kids, at least like a parrot, you know, and, um, because I think having a parrot is cool because it can talk, you know, but people always like abuse a parrot, they always teach it dirty words and songs. If I had a parrot, I would teach it things that, like, I should know, you know, I'd use it more like a Palm Pilot, <laughs> you know, like names and addresses or just information I might need in a crisis, you know, like, in case of an earthquake, get in the doorway. <laughs> no one has freckles on their ass. Use a condom. <laughs> Thank you, this side. How is it going on over here at the Tree Huggers Paradise? <laughs> Uh, you ever see a dog's dick? Have you ever seen that? It's red. Pants, pants like bright red, through carrot top red to like red. I'm just curious. I'm half curious. So, uh, talk about music now. 
I mean, there's these love songs, you know, because they're all about falling in love and falling out of love, you know? What about the middle times of just being with someone, hour after hour, day after day, for years at a time? I want to hear those tunes, you know? Songs with titles like, hey, how long does it take to pick out a pair of shoes, bitch? What's going on in there? Come on! What do you mean you kind of, sort of fucked them? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. So is somebody really getting married here? here oh, that's that girl's going wild fucking war yell. <laughs> Have you seen that girl's going wild tape? You've seen it, right? Are you guys into it or what, what's going on here? Okay, uh, well you've seen the tape and it's these four girls, you know, they get a little drunk, they get a little tipsy, they're out on the town and then they start flashing their breasts and cooches at people, you know? Which is kind of sad in a way, you know? I like to play it backwards, that's what I like to do, because then it looks like the girls have learned their lesson, you know? The life of a slut is not for me. <laughs> Young girls get very defensive, especially when you, you, know, you try and talk to them. They're like, I hope this one girl a piece of gum. She's like, oh, do I need gum? Do you think I need a piece? I'm just trying to be nice. If I was going to give you something you need, it would be mustache wax and a t-shirt that says one cock at a time. All right? Wow. I'm sorry. Did I just wake up you people or what's going on here? That was just wrong, wasn't it? That was shocking here, right? Should we have a march with strollers for that? All right. So if you read my book, Give Me a Hooker with a Lazy Eye, so when she's blowing you, she can also look out for the cops. I think you're going to enjoy this part of the show, everyone. I'm pro reading. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Sorry for smoking, you know, that's wrong. But there are times when you need a cigarette, like after you make love, right? After you make love to a beautiful woman or a confused young man, you need a cigarette. You don't make call love and go, ooh, that was great. Would you like some Skittles or something like that? Or... Let's talk about that war on terror, you know? I live in New York City, you know? We, we took some hits there, all right? And I'll tell you, before September 11th, I travel on the road, so I would get in a cab and go out to Newark Airport, which is in New Jersey, and you always pass a prison on the way out. You know, it's like early morning, I'm hungover, I'm in a cab, and I'm thinking like, look at these poor fucking losers locked down behind barbed wire, gun towers, you know? Look at them, I'm flying around the world, making people laugh, drinking, hopefully fucking a waitress. <laughs> Carrie, do you have a policy on that? No! Alright. Anyway. Carrie Jones of the club. You remember him for his sad sack Indian speech that he gave in the beginning? <laughs> the white man has taken half of my hoo-ha. We need long rifles and blankets. <laughs> so anyway. These guys are in prison, here I am flying around every week having the fucking life, you know? Then September 11 happens, and I pass that prison, I'm like, fuck, I wish I was in there. <laughs> and I go that Bob wire, gun towers, huh? In a cell with some big fucking 400 pound guy being his bitch, you know, wouldn't that be cool? The terrorists come, you ain't taking my bitch. <laughs> tell him, daddy, tell him! Take him out, papa! So, I was hanging out in my apartment, and I'll tell you, my apartment just sucks, you know? You ever go to your apartment and it just reeks, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, some guys, they try and cover it up with that Glade air freshener smell. Who are you fooling? I know you did something smelly. And it happened right before I got there. What, did the doorbell ring and you shit your pants? What happened? I've been meeting a lot of women with tattoos. 
tattoos? Anybody got tattoos here? Oh, you do? In the back? How about up front here? Anything? You have one, man? What do you have? Some tribal shit. What is that? <laughs> well, that's cool. That's neat. That's cool. That's pretty cool. And uh, back there, what do you guys have? Yeah. <laughs> Anything? A butterfly. There you go. Because you never get into a fight in a bar over a butterfly tattoo. <laughs> this is Brea Mantis territory, baby. Get out of here. <laughs> I met a girl. No, that's not the funny part. Don't worry about it. I met a girl. <laughs> Let's call her some dumb skank. Now, she has tattoos <laughs> all over her body, even around her cooch. On one side, a parrot, on the other, a palm tree, like it was on vacation or something like that. <laughs> a lot of women get tattoos right above their ass. They get that right above their ass, you know? And it better be a good tattoo. Because I knew this girl who had a tattoo of, like, a loving memory of her grandma tattooed above her ass. Let's just say we never did it doggy style, okay? It's like, it's, oh, forget it. Hey, you want to get a fake brownies or something? I don't know. <laughs> Tattoos are cool because they don't belong on your body, but you put it there, you know? It says something about you. It doesn't belong there, but you decided, I need something else on my body to tell people about myself. Much like my rolls of fat. You see this? <laughs> it doesn't belong here. But it also says things about me. You know, like, I don't like fruit. I don't like it. <laughs> Long bike ride, I'm not in. OK? <laughs> you guys, I think we need to drink just a little bit more. Because this is tipsy right now. I figured the real drink would just kick in. Do you ever blackout when you're drinking, or as I call it, time travel? Have you ever done that? Sure, yeah. You're in a bar, you're drinking, you black out, you wake up, you're in another bar, you're drinking, you black out, you wake up, you're a McDonald's. Working there about three years, still not assistant manager. You want to quit when you're banging that girl on the fly later? They say she's retarded, but those titties ain't retarded. Am I right? Sorry, everyone. and um, <laughs> I had to shave my pubes, everyone. That's why I dipped over the tobacco. <laughs> Another time I had a hernia operation. Have you ever had a hernia? Well, when you have one, they shave your pubes. They do. They shave mine halfway, like my insurance ran out halfway through the operation. <laughs> Which is okay, because now I can play good penis, bad penis. <laughs> Let's get yogurt and tuck. Suck it! Suck it! <laughs> and now the bad penis. All right. Uh, <laughs> All right, go on. That was a joke. Are you yawning? Where are you coming from today? Did you have ballet and tap? You know that's too much for you. You're going to stop eating again. <laughs> is that your girl? It is, and who is she then? She's a mysterious beauty. Kind of a Julia Stiles, trying to learn Afro dancing. <laughs> How old are you, miss? 18 years old? And you're here? How come you're not downtown with the grunge scene getting herpes? What are you doing here? What happened to this town? <laughs> Sex, everyone. Might as well talk about it. <laughs> I want a couple of laughs. Thanks, everyone. Whatever happened to love, huh? Are you in love, you two, over here? You guys are in love. And how did you know? You told him. Good for you. The other night, I had the lonely bug, so I go out to this bar. I see a beautiful woman alone. I'm thinking, she's alone. I'm alone. Why not annoy the shit out of her? I mean, really. So I walk over, I'm wearing clogs, 
I saw you walk over, and I noticed she's got a black eye. She's got a shiner. I'm thinking, great, she doesn't listen. Well, I'm sorry, everyone. This is, a, this is an Olympia or some town you hate, all right? Good one or great one? Great one, wasn't it? I think so. Just blink if you're enjoying it. I know it, excitement is looked down on in this town. <laughs> Fellas, you know what this lady wanted after sex? Pajamas. I don't own pajamas. I don't look good in pajamas. A bald fat man parading around in PJs. That doesn't look restful and relaxing. That looks like an escaped mental patient on the loose. Tackle him. He's an American taliboo. Women like their men in pajamas. You know why? Because you can never win a fight when you're wearing pajamas. And you'll be yelling and screaming and then one of your fucking dicks will pop out. <laughs> of that hole, you know? And just like Pete's out, like he knows there's trouble in the room or something. What are mommy and daddy fighting? Is it about other mommy who likes anal sex? Sorry, everyone. Wow, the diary is cold. Oh, put a condom on you, fellas. Do it yourself. Because when a lady does it, it can be embarrassing. It's like, oh, look. Oh, look, there's still more room. <laughs> <laughs> Every man wonders about the size of their penis, right? Laying a bit alone at night or in a hammock with a monkey. You start thinking. <laughs> Not like you're going to wait for you anymore. Either you get them or you don't, all right? You start thinking, do I have a small penis or just gigantic balls? I don't know. <laughs> Luckily, there's a test. The first time you show it to your girlfriend or fiance or press it up against a bus window or something like that. <laughs> when someone looks at it for the first time, you want a reaction. You want some excitement. You want another language if possible, like, <gasps> Santa Maria! I poppy! Oh, no! Oh, no! No, no, that's good. <laughs> if someone looks at it and the first thing out of their mouth is, Paul, oh, that's not good. <laughs> Ladies, is it really the size of a man's penis that matters, is it? Yes, yes. Well, the whores have spoken. But what a whole program. A lot of town is getting hotter in hot town. Someone say no is how he uses his penis. What is this man doing with this magical penis? Is he building things and fighting terrorism? A gazebo? How did that get here? What if a man has no penis but three balls and one of them lights up and plays a tune? Does that guy ever get laid? Do you fuck him for this story? So, uh, what else should we talk about? Anything at all? I'm getting kind of getting a little bored here. I guess we should talk about uh, your bachelorette party. Right? Yeah. I know. But uh, where are you going on the honeymoon? Maui. Maui. Nice call. That's beautiful. Very romantic. I met two people one time who are going on their honeymoon to St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> How does that happen? What, do they run out of gas or something like that? Like, fuck it, we'll just do it here. <laughs> but maybe they're right. You know, I mean, really, is marriage like Maui, Hawaii? Is it beautiful sunsets, romantic walks, frozen drinks? I don't think so. Marriage is not like that. I think it's more like St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> hours and hours of boredom followed by moments of terror. That's what I think. <laughs> Do you have any kids? Because that's a weird wedding when you go to a wedding and they already got kids, you know? That's a weird fucking wedding, you know? It's like, do you promise to love, honor? No, he's going to do it this time. All right. <laughs> you said you wanted to learn how to do shit. He's the guy who's going to help you. All right, so. Sorry, everyone. Sorry about that. Too real for you? All right.
Let's move on to some fake, phony bullshit. Anyway, we were talking about midgets. Let's talk about that. I think what his name was. I have midget jokes every comic do, but I also have a midget friend, and I'll tell you one thing. You'll never see a midget weatherman, because no one will believe a midget weatherman. <laughs> a flood is coming. Yeah, to you. What a God. Stick to the porn. That's right. When you see a midget in a porno, don't you feel like, you know, maybe I should wake the kids. They might want to take a look at this. Sorry, <laughs> can you jot that one down for me? Because that is a gem. Please. <laughs> People always clear their throat and they say something important, not me. I take it the other way. I say whatever I feel like. <clears throat> Monkey pussy. <laughs> then I run out of the room, slapping my own ass. <laughs> So the summer's here, 4th of July is coming up. Do you guys know uh, fireworks? Is that legal in Seattle, fireworks? No, there's only like two states where it's fucking legal, you know? Like I think uh, Louisiana and the Carolinas. I think that's about it, you know? There's nowhere else, like places like, like here, would you like to have some fireworks? Yeah, you would. What? Oh, at the Indian Reservation, eh? You can get some fireworks there? Really? But is that possible? Because you know you're going to blow all your money at the fucking casino. <laughs> you might as well make everything legal there. They know no one will have any money to do it. <laughs> do you like gambling? You don't? I love a good gambling story. It always starts out so dramatic, so full of hope. I was up $8,900. <laughs> the next thing I know, I'm blowing a guy for a sandwich. Wow. Those are some cold cards. You really gotta know when to hold them, know when to hold them, fucker. <laughs> hey, eat before you go, all right? <laughs> Get back here, blow a guy for a sandwich! <laughs> I got my night vision on. <laughs> God, I don't know if I'm sweating because it's hot in here or I'm waiting for AIDS results. What's going on? Like a cup of funny coffee perking up. <laughs> so, should we talk about porno? Do we dare? Now, when people talk about porno, there's many different types. I mean, some people like it kinky. Are you guys into the kinky shit? In the back, a couple of you are? Really? You gotta fight the urge on that, because after the kink doesn't work out, what are you gonna do? I like it straight ahead. Just two people who don't really know each other fucking for money and drugs. That's how I like it. I don't need costumes and whips. I just want to see two fucking skanks go at it. That's what I want to see. Some people are against porn, and I say, hey, the state of Oklahoma. Whatever a man, a woman, and another woman with a penis and a midget do to a donkey, that's their goddamn business, everybody. Yes. You ever go to a sex store? We've all been. You know what they have in there? Anal beads. Have you guys ever seen these things? You have, haven't you? Bachelorette woman, have you seen them? No? Give it a year. All right. What's the weird thing about anal beads? They come in different colors. Why, when they all come out brown? I don't get it. It's a waste. It is. You know what else they have in there? Strap-on dildos. That's right. Strap-on dildos. Hanging on a wall like the Giggles Comedy Club logo. Strap-on dildos. That doesn't sound very sexual to me. That sounds like a nautical term. That sounds like something you say on a boat when a storm's coming at you. <laughs> Laddie, strap on the dildos! Batten down the butt plug. It's going to be quite a gap. You and you grab a cock ring and meet me on the poop deck. You're going to make it, son. You're going to make it. I 
I didn't know what it was, these strap-on dildos. I put it on my head, take people around like a rhino. Everybody laughing at me. Even that deaf mute boy, you know? He's breathing heavy and pointing, which is laughter to their kind. <laughs> and it got quiet, you know? You know the kind of quiet right before a hooker takes the piss on you? You know what I'm saying? The 75 bucks uh, Reno, Nevada quiet? Yeah. I really can't tell a story. All right. So is the mic working okay? Okay, good. It, it's all right now? Sounds a little weird, doesn't it? Giving me kind of a weird feel to it. All right, does it sound a little scary? Drink more. Go for it. What's that? What should I do? Drink more. I should drink more. Okay. Let's get really drunk tonight. <laughs> you ever get so drunk you almost sit on your own face? Has it ever happened to you? Here's some drinking tips. Never get drunk when you're wearing a hooded sweatshirt. Because you will eventually think there's someone right behind you. And you'll try and fight them. After some trash talk. Here's another thing I learned later that same night. There's no way ever to talk your way out of wiping your ass on someone's pillow. All right? Even if you yell surprise. Even if you tell them you own a pillow factory. say it's wrong and I call these people the cops. You know what? Oh, hey, hey, oh, hey. Sometimes you got no choice. Those kids got to get to school. Am I right? I mean, really. Come on. No, think about it. I got pulled over once I was drunk. I think you know you're really drunk when you get pulled over by the Coast Guard. That's when you know everyone. This is the Coast Guard. Turn off your windshield wipers. It's not raining. You're in the ocean. Now turn out of that car. Fuck you, Z-Pig! Help! Help! Orphan Whale. I got <laughs> I was saved by an orphan orca. He swam me to shore, but just as we got there, he went, ee, ee, and I had to suck his whale cock. <laughs> There's a rainbow no free ride! Hey! Is the air conditioning turning up? Did you feel it? Yeah. Let's restart the show. <laughs> look at that bald guy. We never look good in the heat, you know? We always look like we just did something really, really wrong. <laughs> What'd you do? Where is she? I know, it's just hot. <laughs> so we're going to talk about fireworks. We might as well talk about it. I never had fireworks as a kid. You know what my dad would give me? Sparklers. Sparklers, everyone. Sparklers are the gay cousin of the fireworks family. I think a flashlight is more dangerous than a sparkler. My friends got M80s, bottle rockets, ammonia nitrate, manure, a rented van. They're blowing shit up, getting things done. I'm walking around with a sparkler like the Special Olympic torch boy or something like that. How's it going, everybody? Mama said if I'm good, I can lick the bowl. That's how you queer up a young boy. All that bowl licking. Ha <laughs> uh, he, ha ha ho ha ha, what's the next part? <laughs> was that homophobic, everyone? I think it was a little, wasn't it? What do you think? Any opinions on it? I do you think so? Because I hear that a lot. Dave, why? You're talking about being gay. You probably secretly are gay. And I'm like, listen, voice in my head, I'm not. <laughs> How do you know you wouldn't like it? How do you know? I know I wouldn't like it, other scarier voice in my head. Because <laughs> one time during a horrible gardening accident, <laughs> yes, a cucumber went up my ass. That's right. They never show you that at the Olive Garden commercial, but it happens, everyone. You gotta learn to handle it. 
If that ever happens, you need two things and two things quick. A pair of ice tongs and a friend who can keep a secret. Hmm. Hooray for that one. Hooray. Let's just fuck old sex up. Okay. A lot of you fellas are on a first date with a special lady. How many guys are on a first date? Nobody? Outside of that bachelorette party, it's just all fucking a sea of sad in here, isn't it? <laughs> a lot of guys wonder, you know, I love this girl, but how do I know she's not a ex-whore? <laughs> The first time you're making love, if she's also jerking off another imaginary penis. She's <laughs> been around, fellas. watching the sun come up through the windshield and you look at her eyes, look at her good eye and you help strap on her leg and you know you fucked a pirate. Remember the parrot guy from earlier? He was fun. So I really do have problems sleeping. Anybody else here can't sleep? Yeah. Sucks, right? You know what's the big problem with these sleep people? The snoring, sleep apnea. That's a big problem. And it's like one of the worst, it's almost like a disease, but everybody hates the snorer, right? Right, but you know what snoring really is? You're slowly suffocating. <laughs> that uvula thing in the back of your throat is cutting off your air, and you're slowly suffocating. And what does your mate, your lover, your husband, your special friend say? <laughs> yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but you know what they're really saying? Can you die quietly? <laughs> I don't mind that you're on the verge of death. Just fucking do it quietly. Yeah. Roll over and die. <laughs> it's like when you're a little kid and you can't sleep, right? You come downstairs, your parents are no longer parents, it's just being adults, you know, watching TV or fucking on the kitchen table, you know, having their time. <laughs> what was your dad reading the paper, smoking a pipe? Oh, what are you doing out here? <laughs> and they're like, what are you doing here? I can't sleep. Well, try. Try to sleep. Go back up there in the dark with the demons and just lay there. Just fucking lay there. And you do. And that's how devil worship begins. Somebody, anybody, keep me company. Dark father? Don't let me get sit around. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought this was a talk show. All right, so. <laughs> I believe in God, everyone. Don't get me wrong. I think God loves every person on this earth. I just don't think he loves everyone at the same time. I feel like while he's loving one person, he can't be loving someone else. That's how bad things happen, you know? Like while he's making the crops grow and making a, I don't know, a butterfly land on a retarded boy's head, making him feel special and alive like he has magic powers. He's letting you get fist fucked at a camp somewhere. But you know what? Hey, he'll get to you. You know, 500 pages on how delicious a Twinkie is, or if you put a hat and glasses on a dog, it looks like he can drive a car. Does anybody really care? <laughs> are you guys, are you guys pop people? Where are the pop people? Over there? Yeah. Do you wake and bake? Do you do that? Do you do? That's good, man. 
I like a guy who wakes and bakes. Gets up, smokes some fucking pot. That was a rough sleep. I need to fucking relax, man. I had some dream, man. I was falling. I didn't know if I was ever going to land, man. Whoa! I'm freaked out. I think pot's pretty good. I just think I'm a little too old for the pot myself, you know? I gotta, like, move on to the other harder drugs, you know? <laughs> drugs are cool, you know? People, like, do drugs like they exercise, like they work out, but you don't really stretch before you do drugs, you know? <laughs> like, you know, like, oh, yeah, let's get to that heroin. All right, now, let's see what's going on here. <laughs> what other drugs are you guys doing now? Ecstasy. Ecstasy, yeah, how does that work? <laughs> That's a good drug, you just gotta time that shit. Do I take ecstasy and then like, it kicks in and now you're in jail or something like that, or uh, You should take it like eight hours before you visit your family. You'd be like hugging them. Oh, look at the baby with the passerby. Give me that. Oh yeah, that's good. It's a great drug for visiting your family, right? Get the Vicks going on the eyelids. Just rub up on your grandma. It's great. <laughs> All right. What other drugs do you do? Coke. Cocaine? Really? Someone's part owner in a steakhouse. Cocaine, eh? <laughs> That's a good one, right? You like that? It's pretty cool, you know? What you got to do with cocaine is, that's a good job, that's a really good drug for a parrot. It really is. Because you put the parrot up here, and you're going to get that camel jaw, so it gives you something like you're talking to the parrot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you guys really just want the straight ahead shit. All right, here we go. Cocaine, I don't know. Acid is a wild drug. I did it one time with my friend Terry. He lives in my eyebrow. And ha ha he he ha ha he he yeah. Then I went to play miniature golf on acid. What a mistake. For three days I thought I was the king of that little town. I was like, hello, hello, putt putt people. You in the window, why do you want to hurt me? Louder is funnier. Louder is funnier. the most abused drug there is. People take it all the time, you know? Then they double up on it. And if you read the bottle, you know, aspirin says it can do almost anything, you know? It's good for blood pressure, uh, for your joints, it uh, takes away a headache, you know? I think they should just put on the bottle what it won't do. Aspirin will not bring a hooker back to life. Sorry. <laughs> I caught the puppet laugh. I'm sorry. I guess what I'm trying to say is I really want to have a family. Not because I like children anyway. Not because I like children. I just really want to name things. That's all I want to do, everyone. I want to. And I want to, if I, I'd rather have a boat, you know, because you can name a boat. A boat doesn't get in trouble like a child. It doesn't do drugs or get arrested or go away to a fancy art school and come home and say, Daddy, I'm no longer a boat. I think I'm a fairy. It doesn't do that, does it? Even a magical boat off a two-toot island? No. Oh. My cousin had a baby, and I was watching her breastfeed for a couple of bucks, and I'll tell you, lady, this is going to be good. Which is probably good, because if we could, we'd spend the whole time squirting each other. Now, you know we would. we squirt each other, tease the cat, set up some tin cans, knock them down, right? Well, we got nipples too, fellas. Something should come out of our nip nips, don't you think, think? Something manly, though, like motor oil. How's that? Or beer. Oh, it can't be beer, because then your buddies would want to suck your nipples, wouldn't they? sucking my titty when I'm driving? What am I hit a bump? Now he's sucking my dick. Yes. Did I tell you I was wearing a kilt? <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm not against dick sucking. I'm just against wearing a kilt. Really. I think that's the gateway close to dick sucking. <laughs> 
I was going to wear a Hawaiian shirt tonight, but when you wear a Hawaiian shirt, it always, it, there's a lot of pressure to party. Don't you feel like it? You know? I, am I right? I always feel like I should party or solve a murder. I don't know what I should do. I mean, honestly. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so uh, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, packing. Here's a travel tip. Never, ever pack when you're high, honestly. Because you get there, you open your bag, nothing matches. So the only trip all you have to wear is a Hawaiian shirt, an oven mitt, and a lava lamp. That's all you got. The rest of the bag is full of cookie dough and Hot Wheels trucks. And for some reason, an anal thermometer. I what other uh, things are going on? Anything? I like that ecstasy girl. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> do you? She got a monkey? She do. What kind? It's for you. It's a present. Oh. A monkey? Wait, did I meet you in Sacramento? There was some monkey talk down there. Monkeys are playful. They're the clowns of the, uh, what's we call it? Uh, animal world. <laughs> of the jungle area. Yep, every part of a monkey's cute except for a monkey's ass. Have you ever seen it? Red and bubbly. Looks like it's not done yet. And they say diaper number is cruel. I think it's God's head. Put a diaper on that hatchet wound. Thanks for the monkey, miss. Sure, why not? You could have brought, like, let's say, an air conditioner or a fan or something. That would have helped us out. There's not really air conditioning in this town. I guess it gets fucking freezing cold here, huh? Does it? Like that 90 degree wind. Does that fucking freak people out? Do people go like fucking, oh my god, something, what is it? This is a white thing. Oh wait, it's my leg. My leg. No, where is she? She's on the X. <laughs> Look how helpful the crowd is. No, don't let it make it easy on her. It's hard on the comic, let's make it hard on the girl who likes him. You gotta earn it here in Thai Town. Oh, thank you. Oh, that is so cute. Thank you. All right, now it's a show. <laughs> God, oh, we need some lube, and I can do a Tijuana show for you right now. What's your name, sweetheart? Allison. Allison, thank you very much. I guess you didn't know that a monkey killed my brother. Yep, came right out of a tree on him. Yeah, don't I look retarded? See, when you're bald, there's a lot of things you can't hold. Stuffed animals, you know? Balloons are out. <laughs> That's why I walk around with a whaling hook. <laughs> I'm gonna put a right here. <laughs> and at night it'll make me do bad things. <laughs> what? Mysterious fire. What was your name again? I'm sorry, I missed your name. Allison. Allison, thank you very much. What can I get you? How about a shot? Do you like whiskey? What do you like? She's 12 years old. Is this a church camp or something in here today? What is it? Some teen tour? You're waiting for your bikes to be refilled or something? Let's grab a bite and some laughs. Allison, how old are you? You're 18 years old. Here I am. I'm 37 years old. Do you think this will ever work out? By the time you're 21, think about it. I'll be how old? <laughs> Who gives a shit? We won't be going out. <laughs> Curly, are you going? <laughs> so did you name that monkey or can I name him? It's Gab. That's the name Gab? Yes. Well, for what? Really? Oh. <laughs> what about peanuts? 
pickle. Nothing like that? Everything's computer quick, faster. Gotta shorten it up. You're a sweet girl. Thank you. That's really very nice of you. I'll tell you one thing. This young lady over here, she's at that awkward age, 18. You heard Britney Spears talk about it. Not yet a woman, not yet a girl, really. Something like that. Now it's the silly monkey toys and weird little quirky names, right? She doesn't know about the cock hunt she'll be heading out on. Cool FC. I don't know. Anyway, what was I saying? The vagina is like its own little person. That's what I'm trying to say. It's got a time of the month like it works for the government. And everything affects it. The moon, stuff toys, balloon rides, Kenny G. What really affects the penis? Whiskey and pepper spray. That's about it. Thank you very much. How do I have for all of you? Please remember your late staff. I appreciate you guys coming down. Yes, of course. Thank you. Keep it going for Steve, everyone. Come on, Steve and Theor and Tony and Yoshi. The guy with the goat team. The fat kid, the brother telling it like it is. The Asian exchange students. You smell a revenge of the nerds three out there? I do. Will they get into the sorority house? I don't know. You never know.
expensive smokes in New York City, boy. They're thinking of turning them up to seven bucks a pack. Whoa. Seven bucks, that's a lot, right? Yeah. And when you buy them, you know, you go through that little mental argument, you know, like, you know, for another three, I could be smoking crack right now. <laughs> but there are times when you need it. So you're like after you make love, right? After you make love to a beautiful woman or a confused young man, you like a cigarette. <laughs> You will never win, you Americans are so weak with your MTV and tampons with no string. <laughs> yes. If you're afraid of terrorism, take the bus. You ever go to a bus station? Oh, it's freaky in there. People walk around dirty, filthy, wearing rags, babbling, shaking. No terrorists ever, no ever take down a bus station. They get down there, they look around, they're like, Damn, someone's already done this, bitch. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm sitting in the bus station. A guy comes up to me. He's only got one tooth. Just one. And he's not even taking good care of it. <laughs> now, you think when you're down to your last toothpaste, your baby is. <laughs> now, this guy's like, hey, man, can I help you? I'm like, help me do what? <laughs> Remember to brush and floss regularly? prison blowjob? I mean, really? He's like, no, man, I thought you needed directions. Hey, no, if I need directions, I'm not asking a man with one tooth. I'm asking a man with one leg, okay? Because if he knows, he knows the easiest way to get there. You won't be hopping fences and shit. This mic is set for a hog auction. I'll say, take that in a second. I'm just 
responsible, Jerome. No, he's scalping. What's that? No, he's scalping. Yeah. He's scalping. Great. What the fuck? Oh, because I'm bald, I get it. I, I got to translate it. You had that weird accent, that butter, dr fucking bitter, drunk, fucking nothing's ever worked out. <laughs> I've been there. I've been to that place. I am bold, and I'll tell you, the worst part about being bold is I still have hair tendencies, you know, like, I'll shampoo my head for no reason. Has anyone ever said your head smells bad? It's a sign of, like, a brain cancer or something. I shampoo, you know, I uh, towel it off, then I get out my barrettes. You know, really, it's bad. So fellas, enjoy your hair. Now, shaving your head, of course, is weird, but shaving your pubes is the way to go. Anybody else shave your pubes here? I use it, oh, yeah. Pube shavers? I didn't shave them because I wanted to. I was involved in a horrible gum accident, and I had to shave them. Not because I don't want to, I just can't hold a mirror with my foot. <laughs> easy, steady, easy! Folks, <laughs> well, if you shave your pubes, you better shave your whole body. Because nothing looks sweeter than a hairy gut, hairy legs, and nothing in between. <laughs> it looks like a garbage fire broke out on your nutsack. <laughs> really, it could happen with the temperatures the way they are. <laughs> right, Mr. McMoon's Yeah! gyms now, it's like, summer's here, have you joined? The summer's coming, you better join! Sounds like a threat! Is something going to happen to fat people this summer? Are we going to be hunted and wrestled to the ground and tin fucked? The way we like it? I like it rough! I don't jog or anything either, you know why? Because joggers are always the ones that find the dead body. Am I right? I was just jogging and <laughs> It's a skill. <laughs> you ever drink and you can feel parts of your brain turn off with each sip? Have you ever had that? <laughs> there goes reasoning. <laughs> Goodbye, bell control. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then stuff starts turning on, you know, like, mm -hmm. here comes the Pollock jokes. <laughs> Down where? On your thigh? Good for you. I met this girl, let's call her some dumb skank. Now she had tattoos all over her body. Even around a cooch. Yeah! On one side a parrot and on the other a palm tree. Like it was on vacation or something. Oh. I met another girl. It is, isn't it, right? <laughs> Dirty. So. A lot of women get tattoos above their buttock, above their ass, you know? It better be something provocative, you know? Something sexy, at least. It should be something like, I love you, Grandma. <laughs> it's hard to take it from behind and look Oh, forget it. I mean, really. <laughs> Let's go watch the Lion King or something. <laughs> All right. Tattoos are cool because they don't belong on your body, but you put them there, okay? doesn't belong there, but you put it there. That says something about you, you know? Much like my rolls of fat. You see this shit? That doesn't belong on a human body, but I put it there. And it also says something about me, like, um, fruit. I don't eat it. <laughs> Eco challenge? No. <laughs> you guys gotta pray. Look at him. He's pulling his fat out. Is he going to make me fuck? Ready? Good. Now, here's a travel 
He said, never ever pack when you're high, okay? You get there, you open your bag, nothing matches. The whole trip all you have to wear is a Hawaiian shirt, an oven mitt, and a lava lamp. That's all you got. The rest of the bag is full of cookie dough and Hot Wheels trucks. And for some reason, an anal thermometer. What is this? Terror weapon? I'm a drunk, basically, and all the great writers were drunk. Hemingway, that other guy, Judy Bloom, they all were alcoholics. We're the great pothead writers. I'm sure they're out there, but does anyone really want to read a book by a pothead? I mean, come on. 500 pages on how delicious a Twinkie is, or uh, you put a hat and glasses on a dog, it looks like he can drive a car. Does anyone care? really, really important, and it never is. Like, what is it? Can you make me a grilled cheese sandwich? Yeah, I can. Fuck. But there was a grizzly on the loose or something. What was it? What was it, Larry? Whoa. Shit. Man. So how many college people are here? Right? I was seeing this girl who went to Dyko University, where uh, it's kind of like a trade school. Within six to eight weeks, she's eating gash. And, uh, sorry, too personal? Okay, anyway, sorry. Sorry, that was just wrong. It was very wrong. Wrong. Is that homophobic, too? I think it was that, too, even. I get that a lot. Dave, what? You're talking about being gay. You probably see really arky. And I'm like, listen, voice in my head. I'm not. How do you know you wouldn't like it? How do you know you wouldn't like it? I know I wouldn't like it, other scarier voice in my head. Because one time during a horrible gardening accident, a cucumber went up my ass, OK? Three times. Now. A pair of ice tongs and a friend who can keep a secret. <laughs> Preferably your midget friend, okay? Because no one believes a midget until it's too late. They're just too cute. They're not built for information. Cucumber up a man, yes! Is that where the treasure is?
You drink me, you celebrate you drink me. You just get out of the clink? Are you coming out of jail or something? Happy birthday. I don't know which joke to do now, the jail joke or the or birthday joke. Birthdays in jail are the worst, let me tell you. You guys. <laughs> Terry, write that one down. What's up? Ha happy birthday, Miss. Happy birthday. Now, don't you find having a birthday is a lot of work? It is, isn't it? Look, you got all sad in here. What happened? Did a birthday? Did a birthday clown recently die in the town here? What's that? There's a weird like language developing over there. It's kind of Greek romanticism thing. There what? Uh huh. All right. I'm sorry. I'm practicing my job skills and not listening. Here's the thing. You know what? You know what it is. Let me tell you what it is, lady. I'm sorry. Let me tell you what it is. That happy birthday song wasn't always there. You know, it's only like 200 years old. So think about it. Before that song, there was nothing. There was no happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. People would just come at you with a cake, like, ah! shoot it! <laughs> There's so much ceremony involved. Okay, here's the cake, now blow out the candles, make a wish, don't tell anybody. Now cut the cake, give the first piece to somebody. It's like fucking voodoo, isn't it? Do you know voodoo is a type of medicine? Do you guys know that? Let's say God forbid you come down with a voodoo disease that only voodoo can cure. Like let's say, I don't know, you're walking out of the club, you're a little drunk, you kick a midget, the next thing you know, you got a tail. All right, now. Sounds like an enemy for Spider-Man. Did you guys see that Spider-Man movie? I love that movie. He was bitten by a spider, and now he has the powers of a spider, which is just a story. Because in that case, I'd have the powers of a 19-year-old coke whore out of uh, Dayton, Ohio. Don't so worry, I'd use them for good and not evil, everybody. Fight crime and all that shit. And cheese. Sorry. All right. So now let's talk about jail. Now, whenever I leave Manhattan, I have to go to the airport to fly out to do clubs and stuff. And I always pass the jail in uh, New Jersey. And before September 11th, I used to be like, hey, fuckers, man. I'm going flying around the country, you know? Getting drunk, doing shows, maybe I'll hook up, you know? You guys are locked in jail behind barbed wire gun towers in a secure cell. After September 11th, I'm like, fuck, I'm going to the airport. <laughs> I wish I was with these guys. Lockdown horn. Someone's bitch. I'm like 400 pound guy's bitch. Protecting me from the terror. Get away from my lady. <laughs> You know I can't be gay because I don't have hair. I can have another guy pulling on my eyebrows. <laughs> you know? oh, that? Who is this from, Terry? Oh, the happy birthday girl? What are you drinking? Happy birthday. Thank you. Give the waitresses a fucking hand. No, really, give them a hand. I think it's hard in this club to serve a drink. <laughs> this all about all right so um you ever watch porno with a midget in it and you feel like you should wake your kids <laughs> they might want to see this <laughs> i got no kid <laughs> you guys masturbate at all yeah. Yeah. this guy's heavy masturbate it's over here not much To masturbate, everybody does it, even the ladies do it. They have a different term for it. They call it a long, hot bath. <laughs> oh, really? I've never seen anyone take a bath with their ass in the air and the back end of a hairbrush in their cooch. But what do I know? What do I know? I was raised by brothers to hunt fish. I masturbate, I've been doing it for a long time. Now I have to mix it up a bit. Sometimes I'll do it on all fours, like a prison rape. <laughs> Cross, like a chat show. Really? <laughs> if you ever get 
caught masturbating, you have to say something. Unless you're doing it with your feet. Then all you have to do is this. If that doesn't give a 10-year-old a stutter, nothing will. Do it 
it yourself. Because when a lady does it, it's embarrassing. It's like, oh look, oh look, there's still more room. <laughs> we just tie it off and use it again and again and again. I'm gonna tell everybody, this guy's got a small piece of oh, quick. I'm gonna go into my cellar. <laughs> you guys got a little scared. Is he doing a play now? size of their penis, laying in bed alone at night or in a hammock with a monkey, you start thinking, do I have a small penis with just gigantic legs? I don't know. <laughs> Luckily, there's a test. The first time you show it to your girlfriend or fiance or press it up against a bus window or something like that. <laughs> when someone looks at it for the first time, you want a reaction. You want some excitement. You want to know the language if possible, like, <gasps> Santa Maria! Puppy. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. That's good. But if someone looks at it and the first thing out of their mouth is, oh. That's not good. Time to buy a Corvette. Well, oh shit. Wang. Ladies, is it really the size of a man's penis that matters, is it? No. Oh, yeah. No and yes? <laughs> Who says yes? <laughs> Over here? You're like a huge cock and keep it coming. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give well, the whores have spoken. But let me tell you this. Some women say yes, some women say no. It's how he uses his penis. What is this man doing with this magical penis? Is he building things and teaching children with it? Gazebo? What is this doing here? <laughs> what if a man has no penis but three balls and one of them lights up and plays a two? Does that guy ever get laid? I'm thinking outside of the box. <laughs> Human oddities. I had a boss one time with only four fingers. And that was really weird, you know? Not just shaking hands, but like when he would put me down, he'd be like, Attell, you're late, you're lazy, you're incompetent. One more. You're, uh... I'm a short good pack! Let's bring up all the trash here so Daddy can sit down. How are you doing, man, all right? Yeah? How's it sitting this fucking close to the show, huh? It's a little different, huh? You can actually smell the shit coming off the stage, eh? Right? How many people keep a diary here? Oh my god. Who is this, the Anne Frank reunion? No more. Never a who. Mental note, don't ask questions too crowd here. Some people keep diaries, journals, captains, logs, if you will. Here's something you'll never, you'll never ever be, here's something you'll never ever see written in any of those things. When he rode up on his unicycle, I knew I had to have his cock in my mouth. You'll never see that anywhere. Okay, I think the sweat lodge aspect is worn off. I just got a vision. It's fucking hot in here, isn't it? Is that how you guys like it here in this town? It's like Albuquerque, New Mexico, man. Fucking heat. And dry. Real dry. Where you need, like, lube to open your mail and shit. That kind of dry. Do you guys know what anal beads are? Yeah! I gave it to my friend, who's a great comic, Doug Sano. I gave it to him for his wedding uh, present with his wife. But here's the thing, you know, when I went to go buy them, you know, because I'm like a bald fucking loser, dude. So I think thinking I'm going to use them with another dude. So I'm like, man, it's for my friend's wedding. No, don't throw me out. I, uh, 
No, but here's the thing, they come in different colors. You know? Why, when they all come out brown? I don't get it. Great anal joke, huh? Now, you're a husband and wife trucker team. Let me ask you this. You travel around the country trying to find the killer of his father, right? Father's Day is coming up. Are you guys excited? I miss my dad a lot. I really do. You know, when you're young, you think your dad's Superman, and you grow up and you realize he's just a drunk who wears a cape? Now, my dad was a good man, especially, uh, well, the holidays, he really never got it. Like Halloween, you know? He's like working all day, he comes home, you know, I'm dressed like a vampire, you know? It's like, oh, you little vampire? You want to see something that really sucks? You see that thing on the couch? I gotta fuck that for the rest of my life. Wow. Sorry, Paul. Pee, Paul. Poo, pee. Yeah. I want to have children. You know, I want to have some kids. Anybody uh, just having some kids here? No? Yeah? What? How about the birthday girl? Do you have any kids? How many? Three. There you go. That's the way to do it. Three kids, right? It's an even number. <laughs> Thank you. What are you, that beautiful mind guy? Let me uh, give me a plate glass window. I need to work some shit out. <laughs> you need at least two kids. That's the way I see it. You need. You know, one to be the example kid, you know, like, yeah, keep uh, fucking getting high and end up like her. Go ahead. <laughs> if you don't have that, then you gotta use, like, your dog or something. Yeah, lay around like a sack, like him, like the dog over here. <laughs> I wanna have two dogs, I know that. And one of them I'm gonna dress up like, you see, like, wearing, like, a little sweater with a hat. And the other one I'm gonna dress up as a whore, so it looks like a business trip. <laughs> Penis, have you? It's red, like carrot top red, like fucking wow! And they smoke around it like it's gonna take off. It looks like an evil magic trick. That's my dog hit joke. You like that? See, you guys have been working all day long, so I think I give you a lot of credit for coming out, you know? Sometimes people, when they heckle you, they give you the life story. It's like, I didn't work eight hours and come home and shower and bring out some bitch I'm not fucking anymore. I hear about a dog's dick. That's a guy heckle. Women heckle differently. It's like, we came here to have a nice time. Just you two. The rest of everybody else wanted to hear about a dog's dick. The heckling always starts and ends the same way. Someone will say something, I have to say something. Then they'll say something back. Then they're screaming, my eye. The comic bit out, my eye. <laughs> my brown eye. Should we talk about now? Sex stuff? Yeah. yeah! Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, two women at one time. Any guys ever do that? Two women at once? I've never done that. Anybody? Oh, yeah. You have? Yeah. What do you mean, oh yeah? Oh, yeah. oh every day. Oh, yeah. What was the situation? It was my birthday. It was your birthday. That's pretty cool. We went bowling on my birthday. <laughs> I was bowling two balls at once. Play it two lanes, man. I've never done that, but I have some of the woman who weighs as much as two women, though. <laughs> Premature ejaculation. Let's talk about it finally. <laughs> Fellas, if that ever happens, you have to say something. Do what I do. Look at your eyes and say, to, <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> you seem like a soap opera, you know? <laughs> <laughs> if you come too quickly, you should immediately get up off the bed and just start fucking doing something. Like, I'm sorry. I forgot. I have to look at my CD collection right now. <laughs> okay. So, what else should we talk about? Sex, more sex? 
sex stuff? Okay, here we go. Women are very defensive, so fellas, you gotta watch out. Because I offered this girl a piece of gum one time, you know what she said to me? She goes, oh, you think I need gum? Do I need a piece? I'm like, I'm just trying to be nice. If I was gonna give you something you need, it would be mustache wax and a t-shirt that says one cock at a time. <laughs> play a hater, play a hater. trick them into things like oral sex, you know? Like you'll be sitting with your guy and I'll be like, did you hear that? Quick, suck my dick. I mean, yeah, that's <laughs> You're a cool crowd, so I'm gonna take it to the next level. Now, tit fucking, now, is there any nice way to ask to do that? You don't mind if I use your body like a hand? and shoot a load over your face where your mind and dreams are like a wall at a Motel 6, do you? We talk about. I was struck by lightning one time. Anybody else struck by lightning? Well, I'll tell you, that's kind of like God's drive-by shooting, you know, because you're just walking out of the gate bookstore, minding your own business, heading to the Boy Scout troop that you lead, and all of a sudden... <laughs> now, you feel like when you get struck by lightning, you'll get magic powers, like the ability to shoot lightning out of you, or read minds, or something like that. All I got was the ability to shake on the ground and shit my pants. <laughs> Is that a magic power? I'm not exactly sure. because I'm sure she was the one who liked the big dick, so that must mean you, man. <laughs> do you have that, do you have that fucking porn dick? Do you have it? It's like fucking like thick and then there's like a little head at the, at the fucking end. Show Blind Date. Have you seen that? Oh, 
has anyone ever done that much on a date? Like, we're gonna get a drink and some food, and then we're gonna uh, bake cookies, and then we're gonna take baby turtles out to the ocean, and, I mean, really. Exactly. What if they really like each other? Shouldn't they just fuck? A porn store. Now, do you go to the porn stores? Which one? And what kind of stuff do they have there? Everything I would like? Mm-hmm. You know, I think that porn, I'm not, what is it, our porn? Our, what's that mean? Oh, really? Oh, that guy. Fuck, I should have been listening to everything that went on here. You know, I think that they should combine porn with history so that kids would learn as they jerk off. Like, yeah, fucking fuck it. Smack my ass as red. As red as the people who really own this land. You know, things like that. Just a thought, everyone. I think we should catch on. See, you both met at a porn store. Now, that's pretty interesting. You don't see that on Suddenly Susan or anything like that. Will there ever be a network TV show where the guy or a woman has a job at a porn store? I doubt it. What a day. Oh my god. We were fucking balls deep in jizz in that fucking porno booth. Sit down, Claire. Let's have a coffee. <laughs> so that's kind of a dream job. A lot of people think about that. Do your parents know that you work there? They do. What do they think? They don't think at all? Really? And, oh, there's that letter. So what, uh, so do you get, like, a discount, employee discount? And what, do you get, vibrators? <laughs> you ever see that vibrator? Wait, wait, wait. You ever see that vibrator with, like, the littler vibrator, like the um, shuttlecraft coming off of the, uh, <laughs> like the vibrator had a baby and there's an umbilical cord? That's with a click? <laughs> Really? I thought, you know what you should do there just as a fucking goof? Hang up a jackhammer. <laughs> just see if like, people will be like, hmm, no, no, that's, not, that's, not, that's way too much. No one ever makes eye contact. <laughs> like, how much is this? I don't quite take it. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> and guys are really polite in there. It's like, excuse me, I can't get to these fucking porn. <laughs> Pardon me, do you have the same thing here but with sheep? <laughs> so you like watching porno? Yeah. You do? Now, do you ever imagine yourself in the porno movie? Make your own. Oh, you guys do amateur porn. <laughs> what? You know. So what though? Yeah, I know that's bad. That's American porn, not like that East European shit. <laughs> oh my God, a dick in the ass is like a hello over there. Sorry, it's true. They're rougher people, all right. Why do I watch porn? Because you cannot fucking really jerk off to the Ice Age movie. Really. <laughs> the dinosaurs are dying. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> no blood. All right, here we go. So, we're talking about porno, and I think that is good because that's a, you know, just people enjoying themselves, right? I, I think that's great, you know? I watch it because I'm not getting laid, you know? Other people watch it to help their marriage out, you know? I think people should watch it in other situations too, like, you know, you've earned an hour of porno. Go ahead. <laughs> you know? All right. Um, internet porno, do you like that kind of thing? I don't like the whole thing of like watching it at work. Yeah, like, 
Well, just the whole thing of like you're online at work, watching somebody watch, hey, how's it going? Oh my God, what is that? <laughs> With my left hand? Is this a riddle? What? I, I don't know. I don't do it with my left hand, that's my fencing hand. I keep that. That's my friend with the four fingers. No, no! All right. Yeah. Sometimes I won't jack off, I'll just enroll in a high school and climb the gym rope over and over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he started the whole fucking porn thing. So what do you guys do when you want a wild date since you work in a porn theater, in a porn store? You really? Are you drunk? That's great. Isn't that the best sex? I like that. I like drunk sex because it's like fighting as you fuck. Yeah, you stupid fucking bitch. You like that, right? like that, Troy? Yeah. That's a weird thing to take before you go to one of those button-pushing museums. You know, it's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> is there any drugs I should know about? Ritalin. People are snorting and dealing Ritalin now. Anybody? That's a weird drug to fuck. That's a weird drug to fuck on, Ritalin, you know? It's not longer, it's just you're very focused. <laughs> in, out, in, out, to the right. <laughs> like I know. <laughs> All right, so, uh, what's up, man? Are you on Ritalin? Oh, Crystal? No. She's not a Ritalin girl. She's on the Crystal. Crystal? <laughs> Crystal is the worst drug. Crystal meth, have you guys ever taken that? That's a hard drug to talk your way out of, too. It's like, hey, man, no, I, don't, I don't think I should because I got a lot of things to do in the next week. <laughs> I like the guy in Crystal breaking into my house and cleaning it. No, fucker, it's all right. <laughs> do you guys read it all? Are you readers? I can't read anymore, that's my problem. You know why? Because I've been fucking bored out by magazine reading. You know, I'll read a book and I'm like, God, this is a long article. Aren't they going to talk about sports and shit? Does that Anne Frank ever get out of the house? What's going on? Sorry. Let's talk about the Middle East. Now, what do you think the real problem is over there? You guys are involved in porn. Now, you must have some insight on, in on it. <laughs> What's the porn angle on the Middle East? They don't shave. They don't shave, exactly. Can't they have the similarities? Why don't they talk about the similarities? One eyebrow. I mean, really. No. What do you think the problem is over there? Is it land or religion? I don't think so. You know what I think it is? Pita bread. That's what I think it is. Imagine eating every meal out of that fucking weird oven mitt thing. That comes. It comes when you eat it. You ever have a falafel? You'll be eating it and eventually it'll shoot like white shit on you like, oh my god, I was just having a sandwich here. I don't know what the fuck that is. Well, will you call me? I mean, what the hell is that? How about drunk foods? What's your favorite drunk food? Crystal, what do you like? Uh, mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella, that is good. Anybody else? French fries, that's pretty cool. That's very Gilmore Girls. Let's have some french fries and talk. <laughs> what? White Castle. White Castle. There you go. Burger is the way to go. Pussy, just like straight ahead pussy. <laughs> oh, are you on uh, both teams? Is that what it is? <laughs> I had a girlfriend who was a le now a lesbian or whatever, and uh, not because of me, though. It wasn't because of me. I know it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, I, honestly, I know it wasn't. <laughs> no, really, if I caused the behavior, she'd be a nun right now. So it's, it, but I met her girlfriend, and we're both, like, squaring off, like, 
And I'm like, you know I could fucking kick your ass, so come on. Sorry. Too real? All right, sorry. When he rode up on the Jews, I remember that. All right, so there you go. Now, which came first, banjo music or cousin fucking? What do you think? Cousin fucking, really. See, now everybody associates banjo with cousin fucking. <laughs> Never hear a story like uh, I was playing the cello and my cousin walked in the room and I knew. Solar crab got it tough. Why did I wear my gun? It's so hot. <laughs> so you like ladies too, Miss? Is that it? Like what kind of woman do you like? Really? That's kind of shallow. Really? Mm. Come on, come on. I am out. Now, here's the thing. All right, can I get one in? All right, here we go. Now, we all know what this means. Why is that? Was that taught in school at some point? Two plus two equals four. George Washington is the founder of the country, and this is a code for queer. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can focus it in here. All right, everybody, so there we go. Ready? Everybody relax. All right, let me focus here for a second. Can somebody get some ice and put it on my bald head here or something? Jesus Christ. It is hot, isn't it? You find it hot too, right? God, who's running this club? An Amish man? I mean, come on already. Did you see this documentary on the Amish kids having sex? Did you know they have sex at some point? I bet you they're having sex right now, because they had to get up in like three hours. I would love to hear them make love, wouldn't you? I would. They must go wild. They must be like, oh, oh, Jebediah. Give it to me, you eight blinking looking motherfucker. Oh, bling, bling. Oh, give it to me, Doug. Where are you headed off to? Restroom. Mm, the washroom. Are you going to Hucker? <laughs> oh my God, it's a free for all. <laughs> I'm old fashioned about sex, everyone. I'm not into real sex. I just want a fucking hand job under a slide. I really do. <laughs> Tell everybody. <laughs> hey, you. All right. So, uh, okay, sorry about that. All right, how many people have ever met someone over the internet? Yeah, it doesn't work. You have? You're like the only person I've ever met. So it took you a while, right? Over the internet? And you had sex that night? You made out with him. Ooh, provocative. <laughs> it was a her? What is this, fucking Dyke Central? What's going on here? Oh, my Ellen? What the hell is this? I can't get laid. <laughs> it's really hard to meet people over the internet. Give me that, right? But it's almost so easy to meet people over the ham radio, you know? <laughs> Bring her. Bring her. <laughs> Are you friends now? That's good. What? I can't hear what? Oh, you're your man. Oh, there's a lot of weird swing going on. I can only come if my girl goes down with another girl and she's holding a lamp. talking about? Oh, okay, so you're a man now. That's good. So ladies, it is very hard to please a man, don't you think? Right? No? All right, good. Fellas, it's very hard to please a woman. No, developing new material after here. It really is. I think after you have oral 
so there should be a little thing of toothpicks and mints there. Because <laughs> you really did eat, didn't you? skin between my balls and my ass because I'm not a puppet. That's why. <laughs> that boxy shot really hit the fucking spot off the back. Vince, what's up? How are you? Do you have trouble sleeping too? No? R really, what time do you get up in the morning? Okay, let's say you go to bed at 6 p.m. What time would you get up in the morning? <laughs> you got a big test coming in. <laughs> what? 2 30 in the morning you would get up? Well, are you like that 8 in the morning type person? No, more like 10. 10 in the morning, that's pretty good. Yeah, you, thanks a lot, man. Thank you. The porn guy is helping me out. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I wanted to say about that whole thing. It's like, even when I drink and I'm a hard drinker, I'll still wake up at 7 a.m. because that's an old habit from when I had a day job to call in sick. You know, like, I don't think I'm coming in. It's a weird kind of thing. Now, that's not music behind me. Well, how did it go back there? different hair too, like the fucking Charlie's Angels. <laughs> Which one's you with computers? I don't know. <laughs> mm. God dang, you're right. So, um, I guess we'll just leave soon. You know, you guys have a good crowd, but this is when all the fun happens, late. You know what I'm saying? Late at night. You ever hang out all night long, and then you go home a little early? Then you get that call the next day, you know that call. You should have hung out, man. What happened? Oh. <laughs> ten minutes after you left. It's always ten minutes after you leave when all the fun shows up. Like the fun mobile is always a block behind you.